In this series, I'm back in Fukushima with Frederick to show you what changed and to show you the last abandoned places before they're gone. In previous episodes, we showed you abandoned cars, stores, hotels, hospitals, a supermarket and a construction store. In this episode, we explore a luxurious clothes store with expensive tailors. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. It's a new day around Fukushima. We have spent the night in a former neighborhood. So this used to be a whole neighborhood. And this is the last house standing. Crazy. Everything is gone, demolished. But the street lights are working. Yeah, it looks like an LED one. New one. Here you can see they used to stand houses. Well, on Google Earth it still looks like a neighborhood, but... In the past years, many residential buildings got demolished. We go to one of the last forbidden red zones, or difficult to return home zones. But even here, it's hard to find complete abandoned neighborhoods. On the sand and gravel you see, used to stand houses. Pieces of the red zone, not much left. Oui. The whole area turned into a construction zone. Most of the remaining houses are in a good condition and will be probably inhabited in the future. So we decide not to visit any private house. Time for plan B. We decide to check another building. One of the many checks I have on my list. So we made it inside a closed door. Really nice. This is the first room we got in. Looks like we have bearing spread done here. And maybe customized tailors. Lots of old tools here. As you could see in earlier episodes, many businesses got affected by the disaster. Now with our eerie time capsules, which remind us to the tragic disaster. Maybe special orders. Looks like it. 2010, 4,000 yen, yeah, I think these are customized clothes. Let's go to the store. Holy moly. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a decent store. A really decent tailor store. To our surprise, we find ourselves in some kind of tailor store. In an earlier episode, you could see how we explored another clothes store. This store had a wide range of customers, from young to old. While this store focuses on business and formal clothing. Crazy. So I was in the store before, but I had no time. So I just made one or two pictures and I had to run back to the car again. And now it's really cool to have some time to explore this building. Because last time I could only peek inside. This is the customization. Different kind of buttons. And this one too. Oh. Different kinds of textile. The prices don't lie. 12 years ago, these tailors already costed over 500 bucks each.
for Octo to light a little. It's pretty hard now these days, right? To find a store like this with all the stuff left. We checked so many stores and almost everything is empty. 6,000 yen. And the sad part is, everything will be thrown away. All of this. Despite most items you see are in a remarkable good shape, we saw many stores being emptied with all the products being thrown away. The window broke with the earthquake, so we have to check if the radiation is not too bad. It's still fine here. Due to the massive earthquake, several windows in this area were shattered, making it way more likely that radioactive particles ended up inside the building following the nuclear fallout. Oh. You see? Still some particles on this thing. And we hold it off, it probably goes down. Yeah. Oh, the counter. I think it will be looted. Check it. Nope. The cash register seems to be gone. Covered in dust, haven't been touched in a while. 15,000 yen. Decent leather shoes. From Italy, no? Uh, ACS. Metro Comfort. I don't know. We could have explored Fukushima in style. Look how we got dressed. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah. Ladies department, even with some wallets. For ladies, there were only some shoes and a few dresses. Also a fancy part here.
some imported tailors. 24,000 yen. Different styles. This is just a cool bear. Pierce, oh, it's the same one. Hey. Yeah, all 24,000. Go check the brown, the brown suit. Oh, yeah. Quality A. For now, this place remains frozen in time, covered in some radioactive dust. But soon this place will disappear, just like the others. We leave here to find the next abandoned building. While driving around, we also found this laundry, of which you could find a lot in this area. Also here, you can see people left everything in a hurry. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment and a thumbs up if you liked the episode and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next week.